Today at the Pencil Electric Lining Laboratory, it's time to see the Instant Star Fluorescent in Lining System, an amazing way to use 750 volts of open circuit voltage to light the place. Everything here has been designed for easy and safe maintenance. Instant Star, that's the subject of this episode of the Pencil Electric Lining Laboratory. Here we are, the last major type of fluorescent lining. Instant start fluorescent tubes are an invention of GE. They have first been marketed under the slim line name in 1945. Until the last years, they were extremely popular in commercial and industrial applications. The slim line is most commonly found in the form of a 96 inches single pin tube, even if the 4 foot version can sometimes be seen. Sizes as small as 24 inches also exist. Up to the early mid-2000s, slimline were mostly run on the magnetic instant start ballast, first in lead lag, then series configuration. Electronic ballasts are now widely available for replacement and are mandatory as OEM ballasts in new fixtures since 2005. Their magnetic counterparts have been banned in July 2010. Servicing an instant start slimline fixture is actually fairly simple. Screws and other pieces of hardware have been reduced to a strict minimum, allowing us to service a fixture with minimal equipment. The tubes are connected to the ballast using single pin bases. No need to turn the tubes 90 degrees here. Simply push the tubes towards the plunger socket side and remove the tube. The ballast cover may be a little more tricky to remove. Various types of cover exist. In this example, it is supported by its own central bracket with a twist-on clip. If you got at this point, you probably need to replace either the ballast or an unpolder. The latter is easy to remove, because the bracket holding it has been designed so the socket simply slides in place. Some sockets may be bolted though. Most of the time, the ballast is located in the middle of the fixture channel, with the bolt holding it also being used as the attaching point of the ballast cover. Although I got a weirdo 1970s fixture, in which the ballast is close to one end. In all cases, replacing such a ballast isn't different from any other kind of fluorescent fixture. But the cool thing is that when you remove the lamps, you also automatically cut power to the ballast. This would technically permit you to service a fixture without having to turn off the breaker. However, you should always service those fixtures with safety in mind. This was the last type of fluorescent lining system we would see in this lining maintenance series. If you have a high output or very high output fluorescent fixture, they are similar to Rapid Start, aside from the fact they run at respectively 800 and 1500 milliamps. As of electronic ballasts, we may see those in the future. Up next in the lining maintenance series, the Mercury Vapor Line, the earliest and still the most reliable of all high intensity discharge lining sources.